Hello, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today we're gonna see if it's possible to create 10 habitable planets in one solar system. And just quickly before the video starts, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers and everyone that subscribes and joins my Discord server, the link's in the description, before I hit 1K, will get a special role indicating that you joined my Discord before I hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you do that. All right, we always start with a star, so let's do that. Let's just throw random known until we get something good. That's gonna be way too big. Uh, that one could work. Yeah, we're going to use this one. It's only 1.11 times the mass of the sun, and it's about the same size too, so this should work good. Let's name it Life Supporter, because of all the planets with life it's going to have. All right, and let's get into this. We're going to go View Habitable to bring up this habitability ring, and we're going to want all of our planets to this green area. So what we can just do is just put it about 1 AU away. Okay, so we got 10 planets here, so we're going to keep it... Pa Actually, I'm going to unpause it and see if this works okay. Okay, it looks like they're pretty stable in this circle around. Okay, so now let's get work on making them habitable. We'll start with this one. This one already looks pretty habitable. We'll call it life number one. Let's check the habitability. And it's already... This one's already good. It's got 46%, so we're just going to leave this. And let's change the interface color to a bluish color. Okay. Oh my goodness, this one looks good too. This one's already got 35%. I'm gonna turn up the exaggerated terrain so we can get more of a, a view on here. And I'm gonna change the elevation maps and we can get different shapes on here. It's like making the water look all funky. Okay, I kind of like that. I actually wanna turn the sea level a little bit down so we can get more surface on here. Life number two. And I wanna make this one a little bit more unique. We're gonna change the atmosphere color to be more of a, a greenish color and the clouds also okay there we go we got life number two here let's move on to this one this one i want to keep this red theme on it add some water on there this is going to be similar to mars in color like if we were to terraform mars we'll give it an atmosphere here change the atmosphere to red get a little bit less opaque but just like a hint of it like that clouds will be like an orangish color we can actually change the water too the red water that's very red maybe like dark red water like this 63 percent so this one's very habitable actually i want to add vegetation vegetation it'll show that and i want to make this a little bit more darker green so we can really see it pop out like that and also add the city lights so we can see the life on here that that looks like a face right here got our third planet here looking pretty nice change the interface color to more of a red color all right, this one's looking nice already. The fourth planet here, but it does look pretty basic. Let's change it to 1.2 Earth, so it's a little bit bigger. Habitability is already very, very high, so we don't have to change any of its stats. All we gotta do is switch up the visuals here. Um, let's make this one more of a purplish one. Light purple clouds. I want to see some more land on here. If we go to surface, we can change the sea level here. We can add some more land in there. And then we can change the color of the land in the visuals tab over here. Add some vegetation, city lights, obviously. We're gonna need cities on here. For the vegetation, I'm gonna want it to be purple vegetation. All right, here we go. We got planet number four. So it looks like this is gonna work out pretty well. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like after they're all done. And we're gonna see if it can be stable over time. All right, number five. Let's make this one a little bit bigger about there. And then let's zoom in on it here. Oh, I like the way this looks. I wonder if we can just fill these circles with water by going to the surface tab and changing the sea level. Like just like that. So we get like these big giant lakes. Go to surface again and add an atmosphere. Let's go one Earth's atmosphere. It's looking good. I want this one to be more yellowish like that. And we'll add vegetation if habitable. Yep, it is. Yellow. Add the city lights. Get the lights here. All right, let's check the habitability on this one. 61%, we're doing pretty good with this. This is kind of like a mini tutorial on how to do this quickly. Interface color, perfect. Okay, number six, here we go. This one looks like it's been shot. I kind of, we already have one like that. So I'm gonna go to surface and change these elevation maps. Oh, that could be cool. We could put like rivers in these, in these canyons here. So if we go to the sea level, we can watch them. Oh, those are actually mountains, not valleys. So we fill it about there, we can get the uh, some bigger land masses about here. Let's turn on the flashlight view. We can check out this whole planet. 
So this one's looking pretty cool. It's got a lot of these like tiny islands that the aliens could explore and live on. And then we got a giant continent over here. And this back off and then add vegetation, city lights, um, atmosphere. Ooh, so that's looking pretty good. I think we're gonna leave this one a little bit more basic just because I like the way it looks like this. Stats, 86% life likelihood. That's very high. And change the interface color to more of a blue color. And that's number six. We got these colorful planets here that can all support life. I'm gonna go to number seven now. Whoa, this one's got like cracks running through it. That's pretty cool. I like this color, like the mint green color. So we're gonna try to keep that. Let's start with an atmosphere this time and then bring in some water, just a little bit out there. Um, I'm gonna make this atmosphere a little bit less visual. And let's actually do no clouds for this one. Um, I wanna try to make this even more of a mint green, like that. There we go. Put on city lights. Put the lights back here. That's not very many. Let's try to get some more. There we go. It's pretty good. It looks like most of the life's gonna be at the northern northern pole, which is okay. And this is gonna look really good. These are probably gonna turn into deserts over time. But that's okay because there'll be lots of water and stuff, especially like where the lights are. Should be good here. Okay, we just got three more and then we're gonna test it to see if this is a stable system, because that would be sick. This one's got similar features to that other one. It's got these craters. I think we'll keep it. Let's do city lights, vegetation, add an atmosphere. So you can see that turned into ice, I guess. Let's do just a little bit of water on this one, just enough to make it habitable, because I kind of like the way this green's looking. Out there. That one's looking pretty sick. Let's change the atmosphere color, make it deeper blue, like that. There we go, that's looking pretty nice. Interface color, deep purplish blue. Yeah, we got two more here. This one looks like it's already decent. Let's make this one very wild looking. Let's do like a hot pink planet and very heavy clouds, like thick clouds. We could just do all the way hot pink like this. And instead of calling this one life number nine, we're gonna call it pinky. So but we gotta make that, the, we gotta change that interface color to be hot pink also. There we go. Okay, we gotta make this one pretty decently sized. Let's go two earths size. So pretty large. This is where the majority of the life in the system is going to live. So we're gonna have a lot of water, but also a good amount of land mass. I mean, like that would be good. There's lots of land here for life. And we're gonna add city light, vegetation too. There we go. This one's got gonna have very dramatic seasons because you can see the pole here is very tilted. We're gonna make this one green. And we got 75, so we'll leave it at that. That's pretty good. All right, and we gotta name this one number 10. All right, so we got our 10 planets here. Before this all goes down, I'm gonna save this system so I can bring it back if I need to. And the link to that save that I just did is gonna be in the link in the description. So if you wanna check out this system for yourself, go ahead, you can make any changes. And we're gonna let it play. So it's running at six days per second, turn on trails. It looks like a little bit, these two are getting closer. That worries me. Yeah, these two right here gonna glide. So this is multiple years. Okay, so it looks like some of the orbits are getting out of whack. We'll slow down here and see what's happening. We got life number eight here, which it looks like it's been shot out from a gravitational launch. So it's definitely frozen now. I wonder if it can still support life. It's got a 60%, so that's still pretty good. So Overall, this system is, it's still, all these planets are still survivable, even though they're kind of out of whack. So it looks like it's fairly stable. Um, I mean, some more stuff could happen, but you, you'd probably be okay on one of these planets. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Universe Sandbox content, make sure to hit the like button. It lets me know you want to see more. And thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I upload once or twice a week, and that'll be it. So see you guys.